Hello everyone, my name is Brian Rudikoff and I am the group leader of the Divorce and Romantic Relationships Group, along with Sol Potenzoni, Luigi Aranzales, Martin Morales, Adriana Corrales, and Samuel Rodriguez, we're going to explore the positive psychology interactions on romantic relationships and whether it's possible to lower the divorce rates with the use of positive psychology therapy. First, I want to start off discussing the history of positive psychology. There are four waves in the history of psychology. The first wave was the disease model, where psychologists played the role of victimologists. The second wave was behaviorism, the focus of which was B.F. Skinner and his human conditioning model. Third wave was humanistic psychology, which focused on existentialism. And the last and most recent wave is positive psychology. What is positive psychology? The dictionary definition of a term is that it is a scientific study of the strength that enables individuals and communities to thrive. The field is founded on the belief that people want to lead meaningful and fulfilling lives to cultivate what is best within themselves and to enhance the experience of love, work, and play. There are three important founding fathers of positive psychology. Abraham Maslow, Martin Seligman, and Christopher Peterson. They all disagreed on traditional ways of psychology where psychologists focused on negative problems of the clients and came up with a theory of a more positive approach to therapy. Since the focus of our group is romantic relationships, I would like to first introduce an explanation of what a relationship is. A relationship is the way in which two or more concepts, objects, or people are connected or in a state of being connected. The examples of those relationships can be friendships, partnerships, and family, which are non-romantic relationships. There is also romantic relationships that can be divided into romantic affairs and marriage. Romantic affair is a relationship between two people who are in love but are not necessarily married to each other, whereas marriage is when two people make a public pledge or commitment to live together and share their lives in a way that is recognized legally, socially, and sometimes religiously. So what usually goes wrong in relationships? Some of the widely known problems that couples face are miscommunication, disrespect, financial problems, and plainly not being a compatible with each other. If handled incorrectly, these problems can be devastating to a relationship. If both parties in a relationship can't properly communicate their feelings to each other, it can result in a lot of frustration and negativity in their union. All human interaction heavily relies on mutual respect. Therefore, the concept of respect is drastically important in a romantic relationship. If one of the parties feels disrespected, that person will start to form negative feelings towards their partner and will eventually begin to feel inferior to them. Couples that face financial problems and handle them improperly can end up not only emotionally but also materially hurt. And in general, two people can just be incompatible with each other, which is something that sometimes cannot be seen at the beginning of a relationship. So positive psychology and relationships. How can positive psychology be used to resolve issues and better the relationship? One of the things that couples can do is to focus on listening. By doing so, they will make each other feel safe to communicate their concerns to one another and improve mutual understanding. Another thing that couples can do is to respect each other's values and beliefs. By showing one another respect, they can learn how to trust each other and add value to one another, thus avoiding issues of insecurities. Furthermore, couples should focus more on noticing positive behavior over the negative behavior and stop using the term flaw to describe negative behavior. By using the term flaw in a relationship, one of the parties is implying bad judgment onto another. Instead of practicing bad judgment, couples should practice positive criticism. This will reinforce their mutual self-improvement. Everyone, thank you for watching.